What is going on YouTube? It's me, Andy the Kid, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, play uh, your favorite DOS games, or uh, Windows DOS, Microsoft DOS games, DOS games, using um, Defend Reloaded, and um, first thing you want to do is head over to this link right here, and download this file, so I'm going to take you to SourceForge, or yeah, SourceForge. I suggest you make a SourceForge account. I'm gonna make one soon. Um, but yeah, this is a legitimate site, and um, you download it, and then you're gonna get the install installer. Once the installer is open, it should look like this. So you wanna click next, and um, change it from automatic, or you can leave it on automatic if you want, and then just click next. But I'm gonna use it as user defined, and then go ahead to click next. Um, and then here, here, here's the cool part is that you can install this on the USB, on um, portable mode, um, and uh, what would you call it? You can uh, use program for full, fo program folder for settings and a whole bunch of other stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, use profile folder for settings. Click next, and then afterwards, check everything. Make sure everything is checked. Then click next and then install everything. Um, that should be done. And that is step one of um, using or playing DOS games on Windows 8. Alright, guys, so step, step two. Um, once. Uh, Defend Reloaded is done. You get this cool icon. Double click on it and you should come to this window. You should come to this window. So, um, it's, it's going to say program language, etc. Um, D-Box installation to be used by default. Just click etc. Um, click that, the installed version, and then leave it. Um, version installed and then leave everything the way it is or you can change the directory but I don't suggest doing that um, then check automatically automatically check for updates if you don't do that you're gonna have to update it every single time a new version comes out manually um, so yeah there we go you have this window now alright guys so now that you've completed the prior steps the next step um, is to get games to install and um, once you're in uh, defend don't be scared to look around click, double click on this thing you don't have to but go ahead and I'll just show you this very cool window you can type in help and then and turn a whole bunch of other stuff but yeah you want to close that down I'm going to show you guys how to get games there's two ways of doing it either through packages or manually so if you want to do it manually go over to this site for some reason, um, Miss Pac-Man is not working, so I'm gonna try using Pac-Man. Um, so the, click on that; it's gonna download. Wow, that was quick. Um, let me go over here. It's gonna download it, right? But I don't want to open it up. What I want to do is I want to go to my downloads folder. Let me refresh this. Right, and Pac-Man is right there. Okay, so once. I have that. Um, I want to go into um, defend, I reload it, and afterwards I want to drag the file, or is it Pac-Man, into um, defend, and I can also do that with Miss Pac-Man. And then you double click on that to run the game. And then the other way of installing um, games is through packages, and you can do that by going on the same site that you got the um, installer from and under here it, was, it says example games packages um, oops example games packages uh... let's see let's try with the first person shooter package Since first person shooters are pretty cool so it's going to tell me I have a minute left so I'll just pause the video and resume it when the download is finished because I don't want to keep you guys waiting Alright guys, so I'm back, and um, the Defend uh, Reloaded package, which I downloaded from here, the first shooter package, has finished downloading, so just wanna, I'm gonna close Defend, right, and then just click Next, 
it's going to say the games that are going to be installed. So Duke Nukem 3D, Alien of Gold, and a whole bunch of other games will be installed. So click install and let everything run. And then now you can run Defend. Okay, now all the games are here, right? So, to run the game, just double click on it and it will run. But I am recording with Camtasia Studio and um, Camtasia doesn't allow me to record gameplay. So, I'm going to pause this video, run, let's say, Duke Nukem 3D and then record it with um, the X story and then add it on to the video so you guys can see that it actually works. So I'm going to pause. Alright, so guys, um, I did try to run um, Defend Reloaded by just double clicking on um, the, I, the game and then running it, but it doesn't work. And um, I'm going to show you guys, just in case you were trying to run it, um, it won't work, or it might work, you never know. So let me just try to run it right now and see this is what happens. Um, you're gonna get a black screen and the lines on the uh, white lines on the pop up and the game will close down. So just go ahead and close out of that. Uh, what you wanna do is this. Um, it's very important. You don't delete this um, DOS box program. Double click on that and uh, it should uh, open that up. And uh, you see where it says right here. It says drive is mounted as local directory. Um, and C users Andrew and then whatever you want to open up right here go to um, go to C where is, it? where is it let's go back to my computer let's go to my computer now you want to go to C or your hard disk and then um, users and then um, your name and then defend or defend reloaded and then go to virtual HD, right? And so you do this to get the name of the game that you want to play. So um, let's say I want to test out um, Duke Nukem. That's what I wanted to test, right? So you want to type in CD to change directory, or just type in DIR, and it'll tell you all the directories. You don't even have to do this. You can just skip that. Just type in DIR, and it'll tell you all the names of the directories that you have in that folder and um, just like already opened up so then you want to type in CD and then name of the game that you want to play so type in Duke it has to be all caps so CD Duke um, 3D 3D and um, SW press enter and Duke Nukem it's gonna um, open up the Duke um, Nukem directory Okay, so um, with this, excuse me, you gotta go back to the, uh, the what do you call it, the folder that we're just at, because you have to get one more piece of information, and that is the name of the uh, f the install. So once you're there, um, you see this Duke 3D. Um, you wanna run the setup though. So just type in set up and before you enter let me check something quick. Yeah, not all not all um not all of the games have a setup application. Some of them just run regularly. So you want to type in setup and um yeah, it will take you to the setup screen and I'm going to go to control the setup and Set up keyboard. Right, move forward. Hmm. Okay. I got the controls now. Um. Let me. Ch yeah, got the controls now. No, 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 no for it. So yeah, you want to go to the bottom. This is only for Duke Nukem. Other games may vary, and I'll try this one more game. And press enter, and let it load. And should work. Uh, too sick. 3D Realms reality star game. Anyways, this game does contain adult content, so yeah, press enter and then start a new game and 
choose wherever you want to play at. Play here. That's rock. That's rock. Damn. Those um, alien bastards are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. Okay. So it is weird because you have to play with the arrow keys. You can change the settings if you want. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to go through this? No. Go through here. Oh yeah. Cool. Ah! Dang it. Oh shoot! Dang it. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this is Duke Nukem, the original, 3D. <laughs> um. So yeah, this is a quite a lengthy. Oh damn it! Damn it. This is quite a lengthy tutorial. My health is at 83, but it is worth it. And um, you can press Alt Enter to. Uh, where am I supposed to go now? You can press Alt Enter um, to go full screen mode. I think it's right oh, shoot, 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 shoot. How do I enter this building? I'm gonna die soon. I'm out of ammo. Out of ammo. Oh well. I'm gonna quit this game. And then you press Y to and it's gonna ask you whatever. And then just type in exit. And it will exit the game. So, let's try it one more time with another game. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, a much more simple game. Um, DRR, right? And then the name of the directory. So, let's try Pac Man 1. Pac Man. Pac-Man 1. Oops. Pac-Man. If there's a space, you gotta put um, that squiggly line. And uh, it should run right now. Let's type in... Uh, let's go into the Pac-Man folder. And let's see the name is Pac-PC2. So type in Pac-CP2. Oops. PC2. Oh, it's pack. Excuse me, pack. PC2. Enter. And um, it should run. Pac-Man. Pac-Man 2. Uh, press number. Um, press number one. Yeah, this is Pac-Man. Pac-Man! Yeah. Oh, come on. Anyways, guys, that's been the tutorial. Have a nice day. Peace.